Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today we have cleaned out our pantry. We have a few items that we're probably not going to use that are just in there. Not really sure why. And so we are going to take those to our community blessing box. If you don't know about community blessing boxes, they are all over the place. We live in a very rural area, so a very small population of people live here. But we have this box where people can leave a blessing or take a blessing as needed. This box is really special because sometimes you have hard times and it's hard to reach out especially in a small community it's it's kind of um difficult to to tell people like hey i i don't have any food for my kids this week i mean that's that's kind of hard to do anyway it, it's a very humbling experience i've been there so i know and it, it's really hard to do that especially in a small town where everybody knows your business anyway so a community blessing box like this is wonderful because you can leave things or take things when you need it and it, it can be a real blessing to the community. So today I'm taking Sunshine so that she can drop off these few items from our pantry. I want to encourage you to really look into your area and see if there is a blessing box available. It's a wonderful way to teach our children how to give. I don't know about you guys, but I really want my child to grow up being a giver. I want her to know always and forever what it's like to give just because you can. I just want her to have a giver's heart so that in all circumstances, she is thankful for what she has and is happy to help others. So that's the kind of kid I want to raise, and I know that many of you um, feel that way too. So if there is a community box or blessing box in your area, this is a great opportunity for us to show our little people what it's like to just give because you can. So first off, this is just a little box here. Someone's planted some tomatoes here earlier in the season. And this is just a box where you can donate or take what you need. And the little sign here says, take a blessing when you need one, leave a blessing when you can. So today, Sunshine and I have um, come up here and brought a few items from our pantry um, to bless other people. As winter approaches, we'll be bringing things like gloves and socks, things to keep kids warm. Um, this is just a place where people in the community can leave or take a blessing when they need one. I would just urge you to um, just really think about this seriously. If you have a box like this in your community, to um, add to it when you can. If everyone were to add 50 cents worth of something, ramen noodles, anything, um, to your community box um, every week. Imagine what we could do just as a group. We could impact so many people with just 50 cents a week. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed going to the community blessing box with us today. It was a really fun experience. It was great to just take sunshine and let her be a part of something like that that is going to benefit our community. So I encourage you to do the same. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and click that like button. Share this content if you feel like it's helpful. And I encourage you to either go to a blessing box in your area or to start one if there's not one in your community. It's a great way to help others in need. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.